Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the third video in our six-part series on how to use Google Slides. Today, we're going to be looking at how you use master slides. Master slides are used to apply common content across all the slides in your presentation. Common examples of this can include company logos, speaker information, or design elements. So let's jump in to editing our master slide. To do that, come across to slide and then click edit master. You'll then be presented with this screen. If we come to the top, this is our overall master slide. This is used on every slide in your presentation. Beneath it, we can see a master slide for each layout. This means that you can customize each layout within your presentations separately to the overall master slide. We're going to come to our master slide and we're going to remove this. We're going to remove this. And instead, we're going to add our company logo. To do that, we're going to come to insert image and we're going to use one from Google Drive. You can, however, choose whichever method you want, including uploading from your computer to add your image. When we click Drive, we can see our logo here. We can click on it and it's now been added to our slide. You can also see how this appears in all of the layouts below. This is obviously too big, so let's shrink it right down and just leave it in the top corner there. Lovely. Now we can close out of Master Slide View, clicking this cross in the top right hand corner. We can now see that this image is on all of our slides and can't be moved or changed. If I add a new slide, it will also appear there. Let's delete that slide. Now, let's have a look at how we can add our own layout and how we can customize that to fit our needs. Again, come to Slide, Edit Master. Now, we can click, right click anywhere in this layout section and click new layout and we can see we presented with a new layout. Let's rename this as our new layout and click OK. We can add placeholders to this slide by clicking on the insert placeholder icon. We can then choose it to be a title placeholder, a subtitle placeholder or a body text a body text placeholder. I'm going to insert a body text placeholder and put it here. We now have a placeholder for body text in our presentation. We can also insert regular text onto our slide, which will then appear every time we use this layout on in our presentation. Do that by inserting this text box. So I'm going to drag and drop and then say type say name. This means that when we close out of master slide view and use our new layout, name will appear here. I can then insert a title placeholder here. And people will be able to enter their name. We can also edit the styling of this text. So for example, we can increase its size, change its default font to something that isn't Comic Sans, and apply some color, for example, this blue. Now, let's close this and add this layout as some new slides to our presentation. We're going to come here and choose new layout. We can see that name appears and can't be changed. We've got a placeholder here to type your name and we've got a box here to type some text which will appear with our new our selected font size and color formatting if we go back into our master slide view we can also edit delete and duplicate this layout select the layout which is here right click and then click duplicate layout. We now have two copies of this layout. 
new layout, and new layout one. You can't delete any layouts which are currently in use. However, we're not currently using new layout one, so we can delete it. To do that, right click and click delete. And now you have deleted that layout. That's everything we wanted to show you in this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Also, make sure you come back to find the rest of the videos in this tutorial series. There'll be a link to them in the description. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.